Meta AI has been super busy lately, dropping state-of-the-art AI models left and right, their latest being their new Segment Anything Model 2, an AI model that can segment any object in any image or video in real time. Next, we look at a very interesting PDF created by Kotu Management, an investment firm with over $7 billion in assets under management. They've created a comprehensive report on the current state and future potential of the humanoid robotics industry and what they're projecting for the future is absolutely insane. Finally, OpenAI has released their advanced voice mode to select users, and we'll take to Twitter to see what amazing things people have already been doing with it. So Meta introduced SAM2, their new segment anything model, and there's a few details that I think people may have missed. One of the main ones being the fact that this model can generalize across any image or video, even ones it has not previously seen. This is literally the definition of a generalized AI system, or AGI, but in a much narrower sense. Here we can see the model's three major capabilities that gives us a sense of how this model can be used in the real world. So here we can see an example of the technology being used in sports to track a soccer ball and a soccer player's movements. We can also see that you're able to select multiple objects simultaneously, allowing for a lot more control. This opens up a lot of possibilities in video creation and editing, and also just for tracking multiple things. In the next clip, we can see that the model is tracking individual cells, most likely not something it was trained on. And obviously, this is something that we already touched on, the fact that this model can generalize to novel environments, but this means that it can literally be used for anything, even very complex scientific or medical research. Finally, the third capability we have to talk about is real-time object segmentation. This will significantly advance the current computer vision systems we have and will be especially beneficial for the robotics industry. And speaking of the robotics industry, we're going to look at some crazy future predictions from a reputable investment firm later in this video that might completely change your view of the future. But first, we have even more news coming from Meta AI. In a recent interview with Jensen Huang, Mark Zuckerberg talked about the future of social media algorithms, where AI will not only be used to predict what content you may like, but also to create it. With generative AI, um, I think we're going to quickly move into the zone where not only is, is the majority of the content you know, that you see today on Instagram you know, just recommended to you from kind of stuff that's out there in the world that matches your interests and whether or not you follow the people, I think in the future a lot of this stuff is going to be created with these tools too. Some of that is going to be creators using the tools to create new content. Some of it, I think, eventually is going to be content that's either created on the fly for you um, or, or, or kind of pulled together and synthesized through different things that are out there. So I think that that's just one example of how kind of the core part of what we're doing is just going to evolve and it's been evolving for for 20 years already so this is already happening just a few days ago meta began rolling out their new ai studio in the us which allows you to create custom ai characters that you can interact with and even share with others creators can also create a sort of ai extension of themselves that can reply to common dm questions and story replies this is exactly what mark zuckerberg has been saying was coming and he believes that someday there will be hundreds of millions or even billions of virtual AI characters just like this on the internet. Another thing that we will have hundreds of millions of or even billions of very soon are humanoid robots. Now, this is the research report from investment firm Kotu Management on the current and future state of the robotics and AI humanoid industry. And before we dive into some of the findings, I wanted to first show you guys a clip of Elon Musk making an outlandish or maybe not so outlandish prediction about the future of humanoid robots. The, the optimist numbers, are like, they're really just, they're, like, so mind-blowing that you're like, is this, is this real? I, it, but because I, I actually think the market for humanoid robots is in excess of 10 billion units, like, more, more than the number of humans. Because um, people will each want one, and then there'll be others that are involved in industry and stuff. So, uh, you know, if, if they do sell, at, even at volume for $20,000, uh, that's, that's 20 trillion. Um, so it's like, I mean, this is bananas numbers, you know, um, I should, yeah, I should say so. Yeah. Anyway, it's just in, insane numbers. So, so, um, so we should hold on to their stock. Let's just say, <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just really, really nuts. Um, I should say yeah, 200 trillion dollars. <laughs> this is just an insane, insane number. Um, 
Yeah, twenty twenty thousand dollars times ten billion. So twenty trillion. Two hundred two hundred trillion. It's a lot. It, it's it's like bananas numbers. So um <laughs> That's why I like, I wonder what does money even mean at that point, you know? Uh, now, whether this will happen or not, we can't say for sure, but what we can do is look at the research. It's pretty clear that the robotics industry has seen pretty consistent growth over the years, and a large reason for that is constant evolution alongside technology. The robotics industry is constantly changing and shifting, and right now it's more about the software and AI that's actually running these robots rather than the physical aspects. They claim that data is one of the major bottlenecks for robotics, which kind of makes sense because the only way to train these robots on real world data has been through teleoperation, which obviously there isn't a lot of. But there's also simulations that create synthetic data for the robots to train on, and Nvidia is a big proponent of this with their Isaac Jim. And simulations might eventually be good enough to train robots the way we want, but the report also lists AR data and video learning as promising avenues being explored. Going back to Musk's prediction though, one thing is for certain, the cost of GPUs, which are what's used to train these AI models, are getting cheaper exponentially, and therefore the cost of AI is also getting cheaper exponentially. This, along with the fact that the actual hardware of these humanoid robots is getting much cheaper, as well as their components, overall, the cost of a humanoid robot is projected to drastically decrease over the next decade, and conveniently, they also plot the average US wage on this chart, implying that in only a couple of years, it'll cost an employer less than the average human worker's annual salary to purchase a humanoid robot, and keep in mind, you only have to buy it once. On top of all that, they also show that the speed of these humanoid robots has been increasing, some can even walk more than twice as fast as the average human. So after going through this entire PDF, it does truly seem seem like the humanoid robotics industry is going to be the next big thing. And it's really starting to heat up already, AI robotics startups have been popping up left and right recently and are receiving massive amounts of funding. As long as this continues, the industry will advance rapidly and I can see it having massive impact like all these other big moments in the tech industry. Taking a step back from the future, here's Nvidia's latest progress update on Project Groot where they train humanoid robots to do basic tasks. They seem to have been working a lot on basic basic household tasks, which is obviously a massive industry and so we'll definitely be on the lookout for any new information on this moving forward. Speaking of NVIDIA, a German robotics company called Neura is one of the first to join NVIDIA's humanoid robot developer program, and in this short clip, they show off some of the tasks their new humanoid robot learned to do in NVIDIA's Isaac Sim. Enough talk about humanoid robots though, autonomous vehicles, or robots on wheels, are really starting to pop up everywhere in various shapes and sizes. This one here is called Neuro R3, and it's designed specifically for delivering things. Worldwide adoption of these autonomous vehicles is going to take some time, but we're at a point now where they're pretty much safer than the average human driver and are only going to get even safer. We're also supposed to be getting the unveiling of Tesla's RoboTaxi, which was initially scheduled for this month, but has now been pushed back to October 10th. This unveiling will likely bring a lot of attention to autonomous vehicles and will also give us a clearer picture on when we can expect to see these things being implemented en masse. Moving on, as you know, OpenAI has begun rolling out their advanced voice mode to select users, and here's an example from Twitter that shows just how eerily natural it sounds. Hey, I want you to count from 1 to 10 really, really fast, as fast as you can. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now even faster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now louder and faster and count up to 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now, there's a lot of examples of the different voices it can do, but one of the clips that stood out to me was one of this guy using the new advanced voice mode paired with Vision, and it honestly sounds like he's just talking with a helpful friend. Okay, so we just got a new kitten. I want to show you the spot that we made for her. Let me activate the camera. Oh, look at that little bundle of fluff. That setup looks super cozy for her. How's she settling in so far? Well, she hasn't eaten yet. Do you think that's concerning? It can be normal for kittens to take a little time to adjust to a new environment. So if it's just been a day, she might still be getting comfortable. 
Have you noticed her drinking water or exploring her new space? Well, she's never really left the bathroom yet, but she has water, she has food, and a little cozy space and a litter. So hopefully she will come out soon. It sounds like you're giving her a great setup to feel secure. She's probably just taking her time and to get used to everything. Once she feels more confident, I'm sure she'll start venturing out. So it's only been a few days since some people have started getting access to this voice mode, and based on what we've seen so far, it seems like it's really living up to the hype. I can't wait to see what people do with it when it becomes available to everyone, and I'm curious, if you had access to this voice mode right now, what would be the first thing you'd do with it? Anyways, there was one last thing I wanted to show you guys today, and that's this article from Bloomberg, which reports that Apple won't be releasing its Apple intelligence features along with iOS 18, and will likely be releasing them sometime in October instead, or even early next year. The reason for this is potentially due to regulatory concerns. We know they have been already dealing with that in Europe, but it can also just be that they need some time to polish everything up and make sure it's all working properly. Well, that's all the news for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.